one by one every question. Question number one A is write the correct alternative. The first question is DNA participates in the cell function with the help of genes through dash. DNA participates in the cell function with the help of genes through dash. Here four options are given to you. First option is mRNA. Second is RNA. Third is tRNA, and fourth is none of the above. So you know that DNA it participates with the help of whom? With the help of RNA. So the second option that is option number B, RNA. That is the correct one. Okay. So you have to just write it as one B, and it is better that you write it with complete option, just like one B. in front of it r n a okay that is the complete answer of your fill in the blank then the second question origin of species dash is the author of this book okay means the question is what who is the author of the book called as origin of species origin of species ye book ke author kon hai so the first option is jean baptist lamarck second option is charles darwin C is Gregor Mendel and D is Oswald Avery. So you all know who is the author for the book Origin of Species. He is none other than Charles Darwin. Okay, so again the B option is the correct one. So you are supposed to write it as second B Charles Darwin. Okay. Then the third question. In entire world. Dash highly sensitive biodiversity spots are recorded. Okay, in the entire world, how many biodiversity spots they are being recorded? Option A is thirty-four, B is thirty-five, C is thirty-three, and D is thirty-six. Okay, so which one is the correct one? The first option, that is option number A, that is thirty-four. Just a minute. Okay. Then the fourth question: Kinetic energy in flowing water or dash energy is in stored water is a traditional source of energy. Okay. The options are A, mechanical energy; B, is electrical energy. C is potential and D is tidal. So you all know that flowing water it is containing kinetic energy, right? Whereas if the water is being stored, then which kind of energy it has? It has a potential energy, right? So these are the two types of traditional sources of energy. So the option number C that is potential that is the correct one. So you have to write it as four C potential. then the fifth one fifth question is dash is one of the milk products produced with the help of lactobacilli okay dash is one of the milk product which is being produced with the help of the lactobacilli option number a is yogurt b is butter c is cheese and d is milk cream so what is prepared with the help of lactobacilli yogurt right so the first option number a that is yogurt that is the correct one so you are supposed to write it as fifth a yogurt so in this way you have written all the five correct answers correct alternatives you have to select and you have to write it with their option number okay so that will give you the complete five marks so let's move to the next question that is one b solve the following it is again for Five marks. Here, the first question is find the odd one out. Okay, which one is the odd? You just remove it out. First is transcription, translation, translocation, and mutation. Okay, these are given to you. You are supposed to select the odd one, which is being the odd. So the odd is mutation. Why mutation? Because in the nucleotide sometimes if there is any changes in the position then it results into mutation right so mutation is the odd out 
so we need to remove it out so you just have to write it as one and its answer is what mutation next question is name the following type of twins you are supposed to write the type of twins how many type of twins are there there are three type of twins right the first one is called as the monozygotic twin second one dizygotic twins and the third one that is cms twins okay so these are the three types of twins you just have to mention their names because it is name the following it is for one mark so you just need to write their names monozygotic dizygotic and cms okay these are the three types of twins then the third question is state right or wrong the forest of twins is called devrai and is considered as sacred right so is it right yes of course you know because the forest of twins it is called as the devrai okay so that is the right statement so you just need to write it as right okay then the fourth question is complete the following correlations okay you need to for the correlation remember always that you need to correlate it you have to show the relation okay as like white revolution it is related to dairy so blue revolution is related to what so you need to write it as blue revolution means it is related to the fishes right so it is the occupation related to fishes that is called as the fishery okay as like white revolution it is related to dairy means the milk products okay in the same way blue revolution is related to fishes so it is called as fishery okay though so you have to write the answer that is fishery then the fifth question is what would you do to relieve stress okay if you feel stress so what will you do you can listen to the music right you can read good books you can watch the birds and nature trails okay so these are the some activities which you can do to relieve yourself from the stress okay so the answer is to relieve music reading good books bird watching and nature trails so here we have ended with the first question a as well as b okay so this up till here we have seen the 10 marks questions now we are going to move to the question number 2a that is the give reasons so here in the give reason three questions are given to you and you are supposed to attempt any two out of them okay always remember that whenever you write any of the answers either you are writing answer the following if you are writing explain any of the stages any of the answer or give reasons you are supposed to write it in the point wise only okay your point wise answer is more uh, expressive and it will be having more impact so it's better that you should always write the answers in the point wise one below the other okay give them the numbering 1 2 3 4 like that okay and you can write the answers one below the other okay never to write the answer in the paragraph matter it is not being uh, it is not being good so uh, to write it in the paragraph way you can write it always in the point wise that becomes more systematic and that becomes more easier for the examiner also to check the paper okay so make it easier for him so the first question is <clears throat> fibrous matter is an important nutrient okay we are supposed to give the scientific reason for it that fibrous matter is an important nutrient why fibrous matter is an important nutrient the answer is very easy point number 1 we cannot digest fiber but they help in the digestion of other substances and ejection of undigested substances okay what we we are not able to digest the fiber but this fibers they help us in digesting the other substances 
and ejection means to the removal of the waste from the body the undigested substance that can be also removed from the body with the help of this fibers so the fibrous matter they are an important nutrients isn't it simple yes just a two points answer it is you have to write it the first point that is we cannot digest fiber but they help in the digestion of other substances and ejection of undigested substances second point hence fibers are one of the important nutrients okay so this is for two marks next question is hydroelectric energy solar energy and wind energy is called renewable energy okay this three types hydroelectric energy solar energy and wind energy why they are called as the renewable energy so let us write the answer point number 1 hydroelectric energy solar energy and wind energy are all obtained without burning of a fuel isn't it yes is it to be anything burning of the fuel no this all these three types of energy either it is hydroelectric or it is a solar or it is a wind energy these all three types of energy they are being obtained without burning of a fuel okay second point they do not cause air pollution and are thus eco friendly okay as there is no any burning of the fuel so there is no any creation of pollution right and as a result they are eco friendly third point sunrise rainfall and wind these are the natural phenomena yes or no these are the naturally occurring phenomena so this phenomena are constantly and continuously happening on the earth okay this phenomena they are being occurring continuously okay so fifth point by setting up hydroelectric power plant solar panel and windmills we can obtain this energies continuously uninterrupted and at a low cost hence these sources are called as renewable energy sources okay see very easy and you are supposed to just remember the important points of it once again i'll just repeat the answer what is the question hydroelectric energy solar energy and wind energy is called renewable energy why it is called as renewable energy point number 1 hydroelectric energy solar energy and wind energy are all obtained without burning of a fuel point number 2 they do not cause air pollution and are thus eco friendly point number 3 sunrise rainfall wind these are the natural phenomena point number 4 this phenomena are constantly and continuously happening on the earth point number 5 by setting up hydroelectric power plant solar panel and windmills we can obtain this energies continuously uninterrupted and at a low cost hence these sources are called as the renewable energy sources okay so this question again it is for two marks you can obtain your two marks very easy then there is one more question in the give reason so that is contact with the jellyfish causes inflammation of the body okay if there is any contact with the jellyfish then it can result into inflammation of the body why does it occur the answer is point number 1 jellyfish has tentacles with needle blast around mouth okay if you see the jellyfish jellyfish so there are the tentacles with the needle blast around the mouth okay point number 2 the toxin released from this needle blast comes in contact with the body of a person touching it okay if any person touches the body of the uh, jellyfish then the toxin 
toxin means what the poison which is being released from that snake of last mouth it is being come in contact with that person and due to this there is an itching effect and irritation okay because of which the person suffers from itching and he uh, get he gets irritation so these are the three give reasons which are given in the question number 2a and you were supposed to answer any two out of them for four marks okay that is each question carries two marks then the question number 2b it is again answer the following here total four questions are given and you are supposed to write any three out of them okay four questions are given to you and you are supposed to attend only three out of them it is again for six marks means each question carries two marks the first question write note on environmental conservation okay very important what is environmental conservation you just need to write a note on it so here maximum you are supposed to write at least 5 to 6 points okay write a note on environmental conservation first point all the developed developing and under developed countries have accepted the responsibility of environmental protection okay either the countries they are being fully developed or they are being developing or they are under developed countries then they are they have accepted that responsibility of conserving the environment that is protecting the environment second point it will be it will be possible to answer the environmental problems only if the environmental protection conservation becomes an effective public movement okay if we all work together all the public all the people if they come together and if they uh, try to protect if they try to conserve this environment then only it will be possible to conserve the environment okay to answer the environmental problems third point for this purpose values like positive attitude and affection towards environment knowledge about it etc should be inculcated among the children since their childhood okay so if we want that the people should be uh, responsible they should take this responsibility of conserving the environment then the values of positive attitude and affection love towards the environment it should be developed in the children since their childhood okay then only they will have that uh, responsibility or they will take that in a positive way fourth point human establishments dominate over the nature in an attempt to live satisfactory life human kept on snatching from the nature as much as possible and this leads to increase in problems okay you know that we all are totally completely we are dependent on nature for all our livelihoods right we are snatching everything from the nature and this has resulted into lot of problems in the environment fifth point environmental conservation is our social responsibility okay it is not just one man uh, whose responsibility it is it is everyone's equally is being responsible for conserving the environment sixth point various laws are enacted about environmental conservation human has a crucial role in environmental conservation okay so for that purpose for conserving the environment various laws are being prepared so that we can follow those rules and we can take a important role we can participate by taking an important role in the environmental conservation seventh point these laws are to be implemented strictly and whoever is a culprit should be severely punished okay these laws they must be followed very strictly and those people who are not being uh, taking it seriously those who are 
uh, culprit those who are destroying the nature they must be punished okay so in this way you can write the note on the environmental conservation okay you just need to remember what is environmental conservation means what how you will protect whose responsibility it is what is your role in doing it which laws are being prepared what rules are being prepared how they must be followed these all things must be included in this answer okay so at least four five to six points you need to remember and you can make your note on environmental conservation next question is difference between notochords and chordates okay chordates and non chordates okay that is chordates and non chordates here i have written uh, non chordates and chordates in this pattern the distinguish we are going to see so firstly non chordates in the non chordates notochord is absent okay in the non chordates notochord is absent whereas in case of chordates notochord is present at some stages okay see the, this is the basic difference very important difference which is being uh, required okay for this difference uh, between chordates and non chordates you have to remember that notochords they do not contain sorry non chordates they do not contain the notochord whereas the notochord is present at some stages in case of chordates second point in non chordates the heart if present is dorsal in position okay the heart if it is present it is in the dorsal position whereas in case of chordates the heart is ventral in position okay third point you can remember they do not possess pharyngeal gill slits in case of non chordates and in chordates they possess the pharyngeal gill slits then fourth point nerve cord if present is double ventral and solid in case of non chordates and in chordates nerve cord is single dorsal and hollow okay so these are the basic four points you need to remember for the dif difference between writing between the non chordates and chordates okay once again i'll repeat in case of non chordates notochord is absent in chordates notochord is present at some stages second point the heart if present is dorsal in position the heart is ventral in position they do not possess pharyngeal gill slits they possess the pharyngeal gill slits now cord if present is double ventral and solid here the now cord is single dorsal and hollow okay so this was the second question from question number 2b then the third question is write the importance of probiotics okay you are supposed to write the importance of probiotics so let's see the point number 1 probiotic products are available in various forms like yogurt kefir sauerkraut that is the pickle of cabbage dark chocolate miso soup pickles oils corn syrup artificial sweeteners micro algae like the seafood like uh, spirulina chlorella blue green algae etc okay so these are the different probiotic products so you need to remember them which are the different products probiotic products they are being available in various forms like yogurt kefir sauerkraut then dark chocolate miso soup pickles oils corn syrup artificial sweeteners micro algae okay so these are the different probiotic products point number 2 these products contain active bacteria which increase the population of useful microbes helping in digestion and decrease the population of harmful microbes okay what this probiotic products what they do they contain some active bacteria okay and this bacteria they are they increase the population of the 
useful microbes and this useful microbes they help in the digestion process okay and they increase the useful microbes and they decrease the population of the harmful microbes then third point these products form the colonies of useful microbes in the alimentary canal and control other microbes and other metabolic activities improve resistance and lower the ill effects of harmful substances formed during the metabolic activities okay what these products they do they uh, increase the useful microbes okay and this useful microbes what they do they help in the metabolic activities okay they improve the resistance and they lower the ill effects of the harmful substances okay during the metabolic activities then fourth point useful microbes become inactive due to antibiotics probiotics make them active again okay useful microbes what they become they become inactive if we use the antibiotics so this probiotics they make them active again nowadays probiotics are used for the treatment of diarrhea and treatment of poultry as well okay so this probiotics are of great importance okay so you can write the importance of the probiotics here for two marks so here this question is carrying four questions and you can attempt any three out of them so the third question here is explain the various stages those are kept blank okay here the stages they are being kept blank and you are supposed to explain them what are these stages so these are the steps in the tissue culture right okay so we have i have given them the name as a b c and d for 1 2 3 and 4 okay so the first a a is what it is showing the various processes in the tissue culture then b what is b b is the primary treatment c is showing shooting and rooting and d is the primary hardening okay so these are the four stages shown over here a is various processes in tissue culture b is primary treatment c is shooting and rooting and d is primary hardening so first we will explain one by one the first one the diagram represents the various processes in the tissue culture starting with source plant okay the first is about the source plant so this diagram it is representing about the various processes which occur in the tissue culture and it starts with the source plant second primary treatment in this it is the initiation phase plant tissue is sterilized in vitro and initiated into culture okay here you can see that the plant tissue it is being sterilized and in the vitro and then it is being initiated into culture then the third point shooting and rooting it is the phase of root formation hormones are introduced to induce rooting and also for the formation of a complete plantlet okay shooting and rooting here you can see there is the formation of roots and you can see that the hormones they are being introduced in the rooting process and there is the formation of a complete plantlet then the fourth one that is primary hardening the hardening is gradually exposing the plants to adjust to the environment conditions okay what is primary hardening it is hardening is gradually exposing the plant to adjust with the environmental conditions okay so these are the four stages of tissue culture which is being shown here in the diagram the blank boxes are given to you they are being numbered as 1 2 3 4 and you are supposed to write those different stages and write about them in one or two lines okay each one 
So in this way, this question is again for two marks. So you can choose any three out of them, whichever you feel it very easy, of whom you are being very confident. So you can select that question and you can attempt it by writing the proper question number. Okay, mention the proper question number and you can write the answer. Next, we will move to the question number three that is answer the following. Here you are supposed to attempt any five. Eight questions are given to you and each question carries three marks. So you can select any five question, whichever you feel easier. Okay, so you can choose them and you can put the proper question number and write the answer. So let's see the first question. Explain in brief Lamarck's principle, or it can be asked, explain Lamarckism. It is one and the same question. Okay. Explain in brief that is Lamarck's principle. So, see, I have written it point wise. Point number one Jean baptized Lamarck proposed that morphological changes occurring in the living organisms. Are responsible for evolution, and the reason behind those morphological changes is activities or laziness of that organism. Okay, who has proposed this theory? It was proposed by Jean Baptiste Lamarck. Okay, so it is the uh, morphological changes which have been occurring in the living organisms, and they are being responsible for the evolution and the reason behind this morphology, morphological changes is the activities or we can say it to be the laziness of that organism. Second point, here see the, now one by one the examples are given. Point number two is the neck of the giraffe has become too long due to the browsing on leaves of tall plants by extending their neck for several generations okay if you see the giraffe snake it, it has become too long it is because of the search of leaves from the tall plants okay and this has been it is not just quick process it has taken so many years okay it is being this process it has been going on since several years okay and because of which you can see that the neck of the giraffe it has been extended too long then Third point, it is again one more example. The shoulders of iron smith have become very strong due to the frequent hammering moment. Okay, if you have seen the iron smith, so his shoulders they have become very strong. Why they have become very strong? Because it is his daily work of hammering, right? So because of the hammering movement, continuously hammering movement, his shoulders they have become very strong. Then fourth point, again one more example. The wings of birds like emu and ostrich have become weak due to no use. Okay, if you see the wings of the birds like emu and ostrich, then these wings they have become very weak because of no use. Okay. Then fifth point: legs of the birds like swan and duck have become useful for swimming due to living in. Water okay, as the legs of the birds like swan and duck they have become useful because they use it for swimming purpose in water. Then, sixth one snakes have lost their legs by modification in their body for burrowing habit. Okay, so snakes they have lost their legs because they have uh, they are being modified in the form of burrowing the. Uh, soil okay for burrowing purpose they are being modified so these all are the examples the, the, all these examples they are the types of acquired characters and are transferred from one generation to another so this is called as theory of inheritance of acquired characters or they are called as the lamarckism then eighth point Development of organs due to specific activities or their degeneration due to no use at all was widely accepted, but transfer of those characters from generation to generation was rejected. Okay, 
development of the organs due to some activities or the degeneration of the organs because of no use this a uh, phenomena this theory it was being accepted everywhere okay but the transfer of characters from one generation to another generation that was being rejected so because it had been verified many times that modification brought in us are not transferred to next generation and thereby the marx theory was this rule okay so here i have mentioned nine points the question is for three marks so at least you should write seven to eight points is that clear okay you are supposed to remember at least seven to eight points okay so that you can score good marks next question is observe and label the diagram okay you have to observe and you have to label the different parts so this is about the human respiratory system right so you need to mention the names the different parts of it okay so i'll go from i start with the left side the first one upper one that is called as the nasal cavity below it there is the oral cavity then there are the pharynx then there is right lung then diaphragm and the last one that is alveoli okay if you come to your right hand side you can see there are two empty boxes given the first one that is upper one that is larynx and below it there is the left lung okay so these are the different parts of the human respiratory system you are supposed to name them very very properly okay so here see eight boxes are being given to you and you are supposed to mention proper name in the proper box okay so uh, just carefully observe this diagram and remember this parts very properly okay then the third question is explain the meaning of the following symbols very important question and very most likely question the first uh, the symbol it indicates about save energy right the first symbol it is about save energy second this symbol it indicates save fuel okay and the third symbol it indicates save water okay save energy save fuel and save water okay so these are the very important three symbols each one is for one one mark okay so you need to write the proper indication what it indicates the sign indicates save energy this sign indicates save fuel this sign indicates save water whatever it is okay you need to write it very properly then the next question number 4 what is green energy what energy sources can be called green energy and write an example of green energy okay see here there are three questions firstly you are supposed to write what is green energy second question is what energy sources can be called as the green energy and the third is you are supposed to give some examples of green energy okay so the first thing the eco friendly energy is called as green energy now what is this eco friendly energy the energy production which does not cause any damage to the environment is actually a green energy okay such a energy which is not being causing any harm to the nature which is not causing any damage to the environment then that energy is called as the green energy point number 3 you can give the examples just like solar energy wind energy hydroelectric energy they do not harm the environment as there is no combustion in world and there is no air pollution caused thus energy obtained from this sources are called as green energy okay very simple and straight firstly you are supposed to define what is green energy secondly you are supposed to write the energy sources which can be called it as green energy okay and you need to give the examples of green energy okay then question number 5 is complete the following table 
okay a table is given to you in this table three columns are there the first one is about body cavity second column is about germ layer and the third one is about phylum okay some of the points they are being mentioned over there and in between there are some blanks you are supposed to fill up those blanks means you have to create this table again you have to suppose to draw this table completely and wherever is the empty space you have to fill up the correct answer so we'll go one by one the first one body cavity is absent germ layer is dash and phylum is porifera so the germ layer is what it is diploblastic second one body cavity is absent germ layer is triploblastic and phylum is dash so phylum is platy helminthes then third question is body cavity is pseudocol pseudocolum then germ layer is dash and phylum is ascelminthes so the germ layer is triploblastic then body cavity is present germ layer is dash and phylum is arthropoda so germ layer is triploblastic okay so you can remember this table very important it is okay so just you need to remember the three things body cavity germ layer and the phylum of it then the sixth question is write down the information on how to dispose household waste okay the waste which is being generated at your home how do you dispose it or what information you can write it on disposal of household waste point number 1 segregation of waste waste has to be segregated into dry and wet and accordingly headed for disposal okay the very first important thing what you are supposed to do is that segregation of the waste means separation of waste into two categories into dry waste and wet waste so that they can be further sent for the disposal second point dry waste need to be sent for recycling okay whatever is the dry waste you can send it for the recycling process whereas the third point that is wet waste need to be sent to land filling sites for composting okay the dry, the wet waste it can be sent for the land filling sites where it can be used for composting okay so in this way you can write that sixth answer then the seventh question is which are genetically engineered crops and write its information okay which are the different genetically engineered crops and you can write some information about them so firstly what are genetically modified crops crops developed with desired characters by integrating foreign gene with the genome are called as genetically modified crops okay what are genetically modified crops these are the crops which are being developed by by uh, getting some integrated foreign genes they are being uh, they are being crossed with their genome so as to get the desired characteristics so such crops they are called as the genetically modified crops point number 2 high yielding varieties with resistance to disease alkalinity weeds other stresses like extreme cold and drought are produced okay so you can get a high yielding varieties of crops and they are being uh, they they cannot get the disease very quickly okay they can stand in the extreme conditions of cold and droughts okay and they can give you a good yield third point a gene had been isolated from the bacterium that is bacillus thuringiensis and integrated with the gene of cotton and brinjal okay so this gene it is being uh, isolated from the bacterium which is called as the bacillus thuringiensis and it is being integrated with the gene of the cotton and the brinjal fourth point a gene uh, this improved variety that is bt cotton bt brinjal kills the pest and yield in yield is maintained okay this two uh, types of varieties of cotton and brinjal 
they can kill that pest and they can help in obtaining a good yield fifth point a gene synthesizing the vitamin a that is beta carotene has been introduced in the variety of rice this variety contains 23 times more amount of beta carotene than the original variety okay a gene which is being uh, uh, used for uh, synthesizing the vitamin a that is beta carotene it is being introduced in the variety of the rice and this rice is containing 23 times more of the beta carotene as compared to the other varieties six point herbicide tolerant plant varieties are being developed due to this it has become possible to selectively destroy the weeds okay the herbicides they are being uh, they are being uh, resistant to the germs they get attacked okay so they can tolerate this plant varieties they are being developed okay and they have been selectively uh, they can destroy the weeds okay so these are the genetically engineered crop so you can remember this information and you can write it then the eighth question is below are some pictures of you and what you should do to take care of in your time okay three pictures are given to you and what will you do if it occurs uh, if if it happens with you then what precautions will you take so the first picture it is about the earthquake okay second question second uh, it is about the fire right then the third one it is about the snake bite so here i have written some of the precautions whichever you feel it easy you can at least write three to four points each okay precautions during earthquake first do not panic take shelter under a table to protect yourself second point stay from the bookcase or furniture that can fall on you third point stay away from windows fourth point if you are in bed hold on and stay there protecting your head with a pillow then fifth point if you are outdoor then find a clear spot away from the buildings trees electric poles and wires sixth point if you are in a car slow down and drive to a clear place stay in the car until the shaking stops okay so these are the six points given to you you are supposed to remember at least three to four points out of them then second picture it is about the disaster of fire so what precautions will you take first one remain calm second fill if the door handle is hot before exiting third point close the door behind you to keep the fire from spreading then fourth point if your clothes catch fire stop drop and roll fifth point cover yourself with a woolen blanket six point do not use elevators to come down from a building seventh point immediately pull the nearest fire alarm eighth point if there is smoke in the air stay close to the ground to reduce inhalation ninth point help to evacuate persons with special needs and 10 point once clear and away from danger then call fire fighting force on the number 101 okay then precautions during snake bite first point move the person beyond striking distance of the snake second point have the person lie down with wound level below the heart third point keep the person calm and at rest remaining at as still as possible to keep venom from spreading fourth point cover the wound with loose sterile bandage tightly wrap a bandage 2 to 4 inches above the bite to reduce the flow of venom and sixth point call for medical help immediately
okay so these are the pro precautions which you can take during an earthquake during a fire uh, disaster or during a snake bite okay so you need to remember what will you do to uh, keep yourself safe okay so these precautions i have mentioned you can remember at least 3 to 4 points each okay so here we have completed the question number 3 eight questions were there okay i have explained all the eight now the last question that is question number 4 answer the following here two questions are given to you and you are supposed to write any one out of it okay which you are being very 100% sure okay whichever you feel it very confident so that question you can attempt so the first question is explain the validity or invalidity of the statement that the couple the couple will have a son or the daughter depends on the male in the couple okay this statement you have to uh, explain that it depends on the male the possibility that the child will be a baby boy or a baby girl this uh, validity it depends on the male in the couple so the first point during zygote formation may, man contributes either x or y chromosome to the next generation right in case of males they are having x and y chromosomes right but the females they transfer only x chromosome to the next generation third point at the time of fertilization if x chromosome comes from male the child will be a girl and if y chromosome comes from the male then the child will be a boy thus the gender of the child is determined by the male partner of the couple so the above statement is true okay see how you have to write it very to the point okay ekdam uh, systematically it should be okay see males they are contributing either x or y chromosomes right this is the first point second point females are contributing only the x chromosomes right so at the time of the fertilization if x chromosome is being contributed by the male then the child will be a girl and if y chromosome is being contributed from the male then the child will be a boy so when it totally depends on whom it de depends totally on the male partner of the couple okay so the above statement is true okay so i see here it is more uh, e you can understand it more easily with this diagram sperms and oocytes sperms it is 22 plus x and 22 plus y and oocytes it is 22 plus x and 22 plus x okay because females they are having both the chromosomes that is same x x okay whereas in case of males it is different that is x and y so if there is the contribution of x and from the oocytes it is x means it will become 44 plus x x means the the baby will be a girl okay here if 22 plus y if it gets contributes with the 22 plus x then it becomes 44 plus x y means that baby will be a boy okay so it is very easy and very important then the next question question number 2 is that review the picture below and write the answers to the question asked okay so here the picture it is uh, shown about a boy who is sitting in a very sad mood right so the following picture shows what the picture shows the depression okay second question what is the cause of this problem the cause of this problem are it can be because of overthinking it can be because of negative people around him then third point there can be the family and the financial problems right so these are the different causes of this problem that is depression then third point suggest any two solutions you can do for such problem what will you do think positive and stay with the positive 
people okay do yoga and exercise okay so these are the solutions which you can do to solve this problems okay so here we have completed with our question paper as well as the answers i hope that you all have understood it okay if anyone has any difficulty any problem any question if you want to ask you can ask me yes ankit pal मैम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकंड एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकंड बी दिखाओ ना एक बार क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू बी और फर्स्ट वाला भी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ओके जस्ट हमें बेटा ये जो पूरा हमने जो तैयार किया है ना आंसर शीट वो आपको आपके टीचर्स से मिल जाएगा आप तो उसका स्क्रीन ले रहे हो क्या नहीं मैम वो थोड़ा देखना था कैसा आंसर लिखा है मैं लेट ज्वाइन किया ना ओके ओके ठीक है देख लो पहले से हम बताते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ए से ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ए में जो करेक्ट आंसर है उसी को चूज करना है ओके जो रेड इससे लिखा हुआ दिख रहा है ना आपको यस मैम हाँ सो यू कैन सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फ्रॉम दी फोर विच आर गिवन टू यू इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर वन बी में आपको आउट अंकित प्लीज ऑफ योर माइक आपका माइक डिस्टर्ब कर रहा है ओके वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन बी में आपको सोल दी फॉलोइंग है उसमें पहला है ऑड मैन आउट मतलब जो चार वर्ड्स दिए हुए उसमें से एक जो है वो थोड़ा सा अलग है सो दैट इज द म्यूटेशन ओके फिर उसके बाद में नेम द फॉलोइंग में आपको टाइप्स ऑफ क्यूंस के नाम दिखने थे मोनोजाइकोटिक डायजाइकोटिक और सियामेज ओके फिर थर्ड क्वेश्चन था राइट या रॉन्ग तो स्टेटमेंट कैसा है राइट right है तो यू कैन जस्ट राइट इट राइट फोर्थ क्वेश्चन में आपको को रिलेशन बताना है ओके okay? एक दूसरे से रिलेटेड बताना है व्हाइट रिवॉल्यूशन अगर डेयरी का बिजनेस बताता है तो ब्लू रिवॉल्यूशन से क्या किया जा सकता है सो यू कैन यू नो दैट इट इज रिलेटेड टू फिशरी सो यू कैन राइट इट एज फिश देन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन है वट वुड यू डू टू रिलीव द स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेस मतलब आपको अगर कोई टेंशन होता है आप अगर एकदम परेशान हो तो उस वक्त आप अपने आप को किस तरीके से फ्री और किस तरीके से रिलैक्स कर सकोगे सो यू कैन राइट दैट एज इफ यू कैन लिसन टू द म्यूजिक यू कैन रीड सम गुड बुक यू कैन वॉच द बर्ड यू कैन वॉच द नेचर ओके वेर एवर यू फील इट रिलैक्सिंग टू दैट एक्टिविटी यू कैन परफॉर्म ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ए एंड वन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए में गिव साइंटिफिक रीजन में तीन क्वेश्चन दिए हुए थे आपको इन तीन क्वेश्चन में से आपको कोई भी दो अटेम्प्ट करने हैं फॉर फोर मार्क्स मतलब हर क्वेश्चन दो दो मार्क्स के तो जब आप ऐसे गिव रीजन में आप आंसर लिखते हो तो यू शुड राइट इट इन अ पॉइंट वाइज मैटर ओके पॉइंट वाइज में ही लिखना है आंसर हमेशा कभी भी पैराग्राफ में नहीं लिखना है तो यहाँ पे तीन क्वेश्चन थे तीन क्वेश्चन में से आप कोई भी दो सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं फिर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू बी में फिर से आपको फोर क्वेश्चंस दिए हुए हैं इन फोर क्वेश्चंस में से आपको एनी थ्री करना है और ये एनी थ्री भी आपको टू टू मार्क्स के लिए ओके सो दिस वाज अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज दैट ओके अंकित हेलो अंकित हेलो एनी वन एल्स वॉन्ट्स टू आस्क एनी थिंग यू कैन आस्क एनी डाउट टू एनी वन यस हेलो यस यस मैम दिस इज एनी टेंस एंड वाशिफ योर योर रेजिंग योर हैंड डू यू वांट टू आस्क एनीथिंग वाशिफ
yes ma'am mind of the lecture okay ma'am okay thank you so much ma'am okay thank you thank you so much students